A few weeks ago on Movie Math, I noted that Looper had opened bigger in China than it did here in the U.S., and that James Cameron was considering adding Chinese characters to his Avatar films. And as we all know, Iron Man 3 is also being shot in China, and not just because the Mandarin is the villain. What's with Hollywood's sudden interest in China? As always, money. See, you'll notice that whenever we discuss box office, there's domestic and foreign. The United States gets its own category while the rest of the world is lumped into one, and that's not just because we're the home team. The reason all the other countries are put into the same column is that they don't generate nearly the same amount of box office gross that the United States does. For example, let's take the recent film Prometheus, which grossed $126.4 million here in the U.S. and $276 million abroad. That foreign number is pretty big, but upon closer look, we see that the biggest chunk of it comes from the U.K. with just $39 million. Next, Russia and Japan are about tied at 21 million, then Australia with just under 19, France with a little less than 16, and so on. In fact, most countries contribute around $2 million each to the foreign total. And because of this, appealing to U.S. audiences and everything from casting to the type of story told is still the name of the game when it comes to making a successful film. Now to be fair, most of these countries simply don't have as many people, aka potential moviegoers, living there. Then there's India, which has tons of people, but their own thriving movie industry, Bollywood. Bollywood films regularly best Hollywood films at the India box office. As for China, well, China is a single-party state, the Communist Party of China, and thus does not have the same rules of open trade as the rest of the world. For many years, only 20 Hollywood films a year were allowed into the country, and the studios could only take home a sliver of the profits made there, less than 20%. But things are starting to change, which could mean huge changes for the way films are made here in the U.S. Allow me to explain. Recently, China renegotiated its deal with the U.S. to allow 34 films into the country a year and is allowing Hollywood studios to take home 25% of the box office. However, even more interesting is that if a studio partners with a Chinese production company on a film, that limit doesn't apply. Plus, it's far more likely that movie will be one of the 34 picked. What will also help a Hollywood movie to get picked is if it's in 3D or IMAX, as China has stipulated that the additional 14 films must use one of the two formats. These new rules are why Looper was co-produced by China's DMG Entertainment, who is also partnering with Disney for Iron Man 3, which will be in 3D. And another animation titan, Jeffrey Katzenberg, has just made a production deal with China to produce both animation and live-action films. This is all because with its large population, China has the ability to produce box office grosses on par with the U.S. That could very well lead to Hollywood trying to make movies that appeal to Chinese audiences as well as U.S. audiences. This could be a huge boon for Asian talent, which usually has the hardest time finding work on the silver screen here in Hollywood. But back in China, they aren't willing to let Hollywood take sole advantage of this new opportunity. Their state-run production companies are already hiring or teaming up with top Hollywood talent, like Katzenberg and James Cameron, to help them make their own films to not only compete in China, but the global market, including here in the U.S. as well. And it will be easier for you to see these films than you think, as Chinese company Wanda recently purchased AMC theaters. Chairman and President Wang Jialin said that if China were to have a hit film, he would certainly want to bring it here to the U.S. So what do you think of the changing global face of the film industry? Would you be open to seeing a film from China? And what do you think it will mean for Hollywood and the films they produce if they're no longer just trying to appeal to U.S. audiences? Be sure to write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.